What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. Today, I'm here to talk about one from director Donald Farmer. Um, I, it was released uh, on Amazon through Cinema Epoch, but I don't know for sure uh, who's the distributor beyond that. Um, I'm talking about Hooker with a Hacksaw, which is a great title, and it absolutely lives up to it. There is a hooker, and she does use a hacksaw. So right there, it's already light years beyond a lot of the similar movies that have these weird and wild titles. Anyway... Uh, this story follows a girl named Kristen. She's a phone sex operator. She's uh, pretty kinky, but she has a very steadfast rule of she will not meet clients in person. But that rule is a little bit not so steadfast after all. And when she needs money, especially if it's for a, a, a vintage Star Wars figure, uh, she's more than willing to meet up in person and deal with these creepy guys. And they're all creepy, sleazy dudes. She does what she has to do to get money. But one time when she goes to meet a client, it ends up being... Um, a guy who's running a snuff film ring and you know they try to make her the lead actress in their newest snuff film she's able to get away and you know there's this open tension you know as she wants payback on uh you know the leader of the uh snuff film organization uh pretty soon she f meets a new person falls in love and that romance is cut short whenever her new uh love interest is targeted by the snuff film ring and Kristen goes on a hooker with a hacksaw rampage as the title would suggest uh, so this is by donald farmer so when i say that this movie is not as wild or like outlandish or just insane as some of his earlier works you cannot compare hardly any movies to to uh, killing spree one of his early movies because there's just not very many movies that are even in the same you know atmosphere of craziness as killing spree so when I say that it's not as crazy as Killing Spree, that's kind of unfair because so little movies can even come close to that. Hooker with a Hacksaw is very much rooted in exactly what you would expect from Donald Farmer, even though it was made, uh, you know, a couple decades into his career. Um, it's got it's got silly characters, wacky dialogue, goofy, cheap gore, the same kind of gore you probably would have seen in his movies back then. Um, it's just got like a silliness and just a, a fun goofiness to the whole movie i really like it some people don't because they don't they think it's just bad jokes and nonsensical dialogue which is kind of true but who cares because it's a good time and to me that's the main point um it does have a, a lot of really cheap hokey uh gore you know where you can see the tubes that are shooting the blood everywhere and like she's hacks on this guy's head for like five solid minutes it's really cool uh she cuts the guy's dick off uh there's disembowelment where she masturbates the uh intestines there's just there's some good gore in here it's cheap but it's fun it's definitely old school uh you know effects which is awesome it doesn't have a lot of sleeves which you think it probably would given that it's about a hooker uh you know with a hacksaw but unfortunately there's not a lot of it here they kind of tease it every once in a while but there's a little bit of toplessness but that's it um dialogue is fun like i said it's really goofy and silly um i again on the weirdness i guess i had to say it's not as insane as you might expect but again, it's not fair to compare it to some of his earlier works because some of those are just absolutely batshit crazy in the best possible way. Killing Spree is one of my favorite movies of all time. And, uh, you know, very few movies can compete with that. But I think Hooker with a Hacksaw stays true to his legacy as a filmmaker. When you watch it, you know that Donald Farmer was involved. It's got kind of his signature all over it. Uh, so if you're a fan of uh, the shot on video era of horror, I think this one's going to have a lot of appeal to you. Or if you're just a fan of uh, goopy indie horror, I would check it out. Uh, that's Hooker with a Hacksaw. As of this video, if you have Amazon Prime, you can watch it for free. If not, uh, try to find it through Cinema Epoch and hopefully, uh, you know, they'll get a more standard release for it. That's my review of Hooker with a Hacksaw. Two thumbs up. I wish it was crazier and nastier, but, you know, it's still pretty good. It's still a lot of fun. Uh, you can read my full write-up of Hooker with a Hacksaw at markfusion.com, as well as tons of other indie horror reviews, including a review of one of my favorite films ever, by the same director killing spree i keep talking about killing spree but trust me killing spree is amazing um anyway i'm also on twitter twitch uh patreon all oh, instagram <laughs> letterbox if you want to get an idea of what might be coming here soon but the best way you can help me out is always just to hit that sub button help me to continue to make these videos keep making content checking out all these crazy movies um and also uh checking out the old videos is a massive help to me as well uh, there's definitely a ton of indie horror reviews in this playlist, probably hundreds of them. So thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you guys soon.